Hey guys, good morning. I hope you are having a lovely day and I hope you have an amazing week. Okay, you're gonna have to excuse the noise. I've got three fans going. We lost power and um, it's like 500 degrees in here. So I cannot shut those off. So anyhow, I couldn't not share this either. It's the morning throw. You can use it as your daily, you can use it as your weekly. I pretty much think that this lineup, I just could not stop pulling energy cards. Our cards coming in are the Five of Swords. And what I got the instant that I pulled that card was not defensiveness, not, you know, his normal, the craziness that comes with that card sometimes. What I feel that really is, is you know what, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. I just need a moment to myself. You know, I have nothing more to give is kind of what I hear coming off of that card. Now, it sits next to the Queen of Wands, and she's looking right at that Ace of Wands. That card, yeah, sometimes that is a phallic card, but in here, it's your vitality. You're like, where the hell is all my energy gone? Where is all my, you know, umspa gone? Where is all of my excitement gone? I want my excitement back. I want my old life back is kind of what I hear. Now... Where we come in here, when I flip the deck over, the energy card that we got was the Nine of Swords. And I really do strongly feel that that's how it, it's just depletion. It's like I've got nothing more to give, period. I'm, I'm sucked dry here, right? Now, underneath it, I found the Lover card, and then the Six of Wands, and then the Tower card. I couldn't stop myself. Then the Moon card, then the Fool card then the death card, then the magician card, and then finally we stop at the ten of cups, and underneath that card um, was the queen of, queen of, of, where is she here, was the queen, um, the queen of cups is the final, final The final, final energy card. Okay, so not to mention I had to go through three cameras to get this recorded, so just bear with me. Take the content away. Um, it just refocused. Okay, good. So we've got, we come out with the energy of the Queen of Cups, which is your receptive self, your happy self, your loving self, your back to yourself. Okay, now I think you're really going to need to take some time to yourself. With the lover card, I would strongly suggest you really not make any decisions right now unless they absolutely have to be made. The Six of Wands is a small victory, right? It's a victory like finally, you know, even if I have to lock myself in this class and I'm getting five minutes to myself. Wands and Swords, I'm going to be honest with you. We come in with the Nine of Swords. I'm pausing for a second. I want to back up to show you something here. For those of you that think you're going to run on empty, I assure you, you're not going to do that because your body will take a hit for it. Absolutely. Wands and swords speak of your body. They speak of, of first it hitting your mind and then it hitting your body. So if you're totally exhausted and your mind is just spent, you've not got two cents to put back together to form a sentence even, you're going to need to take a little bit of a break because your body's going to, your body will, will take a hit, your digestion, you know, you'll catch a cold, something will come up here or worse, right? So I just wanted to point that out. The lover card again is choices, long-term choices. It can be about anything, but in this state, I would strongly suggest you not make any decisions. If by chance for some of you, that five of swords with the queen of wands and the lover card, it didn't, and the nine of swords, it's something here, right? The six of wands may look we need to table something. Please, let's not have any really deep conversations right now. That could be the victory of the Six of, of Wands, right? Just really saying, look, please, let's just come back to this when I can form a sentence, right? And that's the Tower card. That's really just speaking up. It's saying something. Um, you know, it can be something like that, too. Um, now, the Moon card, too, is, again... Um, it's very emotional card. With the tower card, it's very emotional. You know, it's like maybe the realization of things. It can be anything, right? But the reason that I'm going through this so fast, it's not insignificant. Don't misunderstand me because we have quite a few major arcanas in here. Okay, now we've got the fool card, though. That's new beginnings, vitality. You get your energy back, but I'm telling you, you need to take a time out for yourself, really. 
Now, the death card, the magician, and the ten of coins, that's how the last of the energy cards there, right? I know that I need to do this. I need to take a break. I need to stop doing everything for everyone. And the magician is like, whoa, stop. I need a minute right? You can pull this together. And what this does is it rebalances your life. It looks like because you've got the 10 of cups. That is harmony in the moment. No matter what else is going on around you, you've got harmony and you've got the fool card, right? And then you've got the queen of wands or sorry, the queen of cups. That's receptive energy. That's loving energy. That's hopefully balanced emotional energy, right? Because with the two queens there, you've got vitality, and you've got receptivity. That's that the balancing of the masculine feminine energy is what that is. And that's the vitality that you get with the Ace of Wands, right? That's what I think is going on, guys. This is short, but it is it is very, very powerful. It's a time to just go with your emotions, feel them, you know, don't get carried away by them, but but really just feel them and realize that it's the energies. They're very, very strong. You, you know, I can tell you again, the likes of which I've never seen before. And I've got everything transiting my natals. Pluto, Saturn, Mercury, Mars, shoot me now, you know? So I get it. Just go with the flow. Take some time for yourself. Enjoy yourself. Um, and there you go. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do anything for you. Again, this is short, but I wanted to get it out here because I think it's important that people know this, right? Just, just these energies are going to be all over the place. Try to bite your tongue when you know that the words, you know, would it just taste your words before you spit them out, basically. Okay, so there you go. Thank you so much. Have a great week, guys. Honestly, I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully and see if things clear up. But this is what we've got now. So forewarned is forearm. Okay, there you go.